Okay, so we're just going to go with this and see what happens. Um, this is the Hamburger Sonata, which I am going to play with a backing track from YouTube. Um, I've only played with it once, so it may all go horribly wrong, but we will, we will give it a whirl anyway.
it's going to stop, by the way. Adverts. Um, because I'm playing it with Tim. Uh, without the repeat. Um, which I forgot this did. Um, so it's just once through. It's also... Tim and I um, have got a little bit of rubato in at certain points. Which this doesn't, it just keeps going. Um, so I'd, again, forgotten that it doesn't have um, those little bits in. Um, a few finger me a few finger messy a few messy fingers um, a few breaths in wrong places that I don't normally put in um, including bar 46 where I breathed before the drill but it was either that or die so um, but yeah so that's that's the first that's the first little bit let me just see if I can find the uh, rondo I'm gonna try this again um, my um, tablet stopped halfway through the rondo so um we'll try this again <clears throat> and see hopefully there'll be no adverts either but we'll, we shall see all being well starting out to learn the saxophone but I suspect it of course will apply to a clarinet and doubly so to an oboe and it's these things can you see them reeds um, my journey over the last seven years with Lindsay has been um, challenging most of the time uh, because I'm a slow learner 
Um, but being a trained scientist, I like to think that uh, uh, things have cause and effect. So do something, that should be the effect. Don't do something, that should be the effect. Not so when it comes to these things. They are the work of the devil, which is probably appropriate. Uh, and don't, I hope I'm never going to offend anybody here, uh, because most of them are French. So that probably accounts for it. Um, you get a reed to work. Uh, and early on in your playing career, they sound lovely. They sound very nice. And then one day, the things died on you. Um, it was playing beautifully yesterday. All the right sounds. Sounded nice. And you were even impressed with how you sounded. Next day, you pick it up and it's cracked, it's split, it whistles, it groans, it grumbles. And your favourite reed has got to be put in the bin. And you start again with another one. And the, and the cycle goes all round again. You break it in, you get used to it. Some you never do. Some that come out of the packet are like scaffold planks and are never going to play. Some you can uh, tune to get in into working order with a, with a sharp knife and a pen and a bit of scra judicious scraping when you learn how to do that. I don't bother these days. I've been them. Uh, if you pick up a reed that doesn't work, don't bother wasting your time on it. I just chuck it in the bin. So, reeds. Things are made of vegetable matter. They don't behave in any rational sense. They just do what they like, when they like, depending upon whether there's an R in the month uh, or what day of the week it is. They just do what they feel like. Uh, and I'm sorry, uh, I have to tell you that, young students, um, but you have to get used to that. If you're going to go anywhere playing a saxophone, presumably any reed instrument, you're going to have to get used to the fact that these things just do not behave in a rational manner. And as I said, one day they're playing beautifully, the next day they are fit for nothing but the bin. Maybe lighting the fire with or something. Uh, so don't get disappointed. <laughs> but if you're not prepared to put up with irrational um, effects of bits of wood that you stick in your mouth and they, and they get wet, then don't even start playing a saxophone because you'll you'll never be satisfied. <laughs> so tongue in cheek, my uh, my little lecture on on reeds, but uh, I hope maybe it would help somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. choice that I should have done last week, this week. <clears throat> I'm doing a very well-known piece, which I've been working on, um, and we're going to give this a go, the Pink Panther. Thank you. 
one's coming along nicely. Thank you very much. <laughs>